Yeah, 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 yeah. Whoa, whoa, uh, yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's go. Yeah, these scriptures save my life. That will never change. That will never change. Every single day I strive to see them heaven's gates, to see them heaven's gates, yeah, yeah. Yeah, these scriptures save my life. That'll never change, that'll never change, no, no. Every single day I strive to see them heaven's gates, to see them heaven's gates, yeah. What's going on? What's going on? Only five minutes. Sis, sis, I'm right here, I'm over here, right here. You see yourself here? Yeah, 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 you're from Jamaica? Alright, okay. So look towards the bottom. Come here, come here! You two, you and your friend, come here! That one co what are you doing? Come here! Look towards the bottom. Yeah. Benjamin, that's right. So you guys... That, <laughs> that was Sydney's, yes. Alright, so which part of Jamaica from? Alright, alright, my people move in. So what we have to say to our people, alright, because the Benjamites are the children of God, today, we're not supposed to be out here like this. Alright, we're not supposed to be out here in general like this. And you sisters shouldn't be out here like this. Alright? Because according to our ancestors, the Bible, the book of our ancestors, today is the Sabbath day. Alright? Stop. Oh, oh yeah, what, should, what do you know about the Sabbath? Hold on, hold on, hold on. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. That's alright. That's alright. We're going to talk about the Sabbath real quick. Alright, let me get Leviticus. No, let me get Isaiah 58, verse 13. Alright? So, I'm going to tell you. What? You go to you go to church? You don't go to church anymore? No? Not the moment. Alright. So, let me get that. The book of Isaiah, the 58, verse 13. Here's what they should have taught you in church. Go ahead. If I turn away thy foot from the Sabbath. You stop doing whatever you want to do on the Sabbath. So says the most high God. Come closer, come closer. Closer. Come on the street. Come on the street. All right. Read. From doing thy pleasure on my holy day. From doing whatever you want on my holy day. Keep going. And call the Sabbath a delight. And call the Sabbath a delight. You see, the Sabbath is really our mental health day, all right? It's a rest day. We don't got to do no work, all right? We got to do no cleaning, no cooking, all right? We don't do none of that. All we do is read the word and come again, be together as a family, all right? Keep going. The holy of the Lord, honorable, and shall honor him. Honor him, all right? Call it honorable, all right? Because it's for your honor. Because to be, to keep the Sabbath is how you show yourself to be children of God, all right? Keep going. Not doing that own, not doing that own ways, nor finding that own pleasure, nor speaking that own word. Now, if you notice, sister, if you notice, he's kind of saying the same thing over and over. You're doing your own thing. If you don't do whatever you want to do, stop doing whatever you want to do. If you stop doing whatever you want to do, you know, then what? Then shalt thou delight thyself in the Lord, and I will cause thee to ride upon the high places of the earth. Then your heart is gonna finally delight yourself in the Lord. What, hey, what does the Most High feel right now? What does the Most High really like? Why does it say that the Most High is a God, a man of war? Alright? These things are the things you're going to worry about because you're going to finally delight yourself in the Most High. Read that one more time. Verse 14. Then shalt thou, then shalt thou delight thyself in the Lord. And what? And I will cause thee to ride upon the high places of the earth. And what? And feed thee with the heritage of Jacob thy father. That part right there, all right? He said he's going to feed you with the heritage of your father, Jacob, all right? Here's what you gotta know. Sister, sister, here's what you gotta know. Your forefather's name is Jacob, all right? Of all the Jamaicans, yo, huh? No, his name was changed to Israel. See, that's why you gotta come to the Sabbath service. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. So, the real book of our ancestors is the Bible. 
all right? Where you come from, all right? Your pr your princessness, all right? Your your honor, your pride, it comes from that lineage, all right? The way that we act comes from Jacob, all right? You're gonna learn everything about your princehood, your royalty from there, all right? How it came down. But you're not gonna learn that stuff from the Christian church. Because the Christian church, all they're, there is, all they're there to do is to take your money and stick with you, all right? And you know that, all right? <laughs> it's true, all right? Because it says in the scriptures that they neigh, they neigh after a woman like horses, all right? It says that in the scriptures, all right? But the thing is that you never actually get to learn who the Most High is. Your parents never teach you who, never teach you who God is, all right? Yeah. Yeah, I know. It's okay. It's okay. But your parents never teach you who God is because they don't know because their pastor didn't teach them who God is. All right? So to properly learn what the Most High asks of you, all right? Let me get Deuteronomy 22, verse 5. I'm going to show you one thing he asks of you. Because according to the Most High God, sister, you cannot be dressing like that. According to God. I'm going to show you. Deuteronomy 22, verse 5. No, it did not. Which, which scripture is that? Exactly. <laughs> Let me show you. The book of Deuteronomy, the 22, verse 5. Let me show you this. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Watch this. Read that one more time. And the, then we're going to get 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 9. The woman shall not wear which, so the woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. What do you think that is? Look around. What do you think that is? What are what do men wear normally? Exactly. So you already know. All right. Read that again. Thou shall not. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Women cannot wear pants. All right. But who is? What? Well, you see. But here's the thing. Our people have our people have honor in what they're doing right now. Our people have pride in what they're doing right now, not honor. Only because our people do not act and they don't have the fear of God. All right? Because they don't know where they came from, because they don't know they know how to be children of the most high. All right? That's when they act like this. All right? This is a wonderful woman, wonderful woman right here. All right? A beautiful dark skinned woman. Other tribe of where? Let me ask you, where you're from? Jamaica. Passing for the tribe of Benjamin. A beautiful dark skinned woman for the, for the tribe of women. Uh, tri tribe of Benjamin. Alright? First Timothy chapter 2, verse 9. Alright? And a lot of our women profess godliness, but they don't show it. To show it, you have to cover up yourself. Alright? Because that's for your man. That's for your household. Alright? You can't be dressing like that. We're going to get to that right now. Alright? <laughs> but we don't ask for it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Read. The book of First Timothy to the two verse nine. In like manner also. Hold on, hold on. Listen to this. The book of First Timothy to the two verse nine. In like manner also, that woman adorned himself in modest apparel. Read it slower. The book of First Timothy to the two verse nine. In like manner also. In like manner also. So for the women, go ahead. That, wo that woman adorned herself in modest apparel. That the woman adorned herself in modest. Is that modest? Yes. You think that's modest? Yes, it is. Because you're showing off too much leg. That's integrity modest. Back in the day, listen, back in the day, you had to look into the mirror to see. Yes, come here, come here, come here, come here. I'm gonna show you, all right? Cause back in the day, before you left, before you left the house, you look in the mirror and you did all this. You try to fit yourself and try to pull your skirt down because you knew it wasn't right. That's wrong too. That's worse. Because if it was, if there was no problem, you would not be in the mirror trying to pull your skirt down. All right? But that's what our people do. All right? You know, you know, even brother. You know deep inside that you cannot be out here like this. All right? Yes, like that. Because that's for your man. You have a husband? All right. But when you have a husband, you're supposed to cover yourself up until then. 
No, it's for you too. Yes, come here, come here. I'm gonna show you. Read it one more time. The book of First Timothy, chapter two, verse nine. In like manner also, that women adorn themselves in modest apparel. What's modest about what you're wearing? No, uh, uh, uh. What's modest about what you're wearing? You answer that. It's leggings. All right. You're showing all your leg today. All right, tonight. All right. That's not modest. All right, that is against the law according to Deuteronomy chapter 22 verse 5. All right, and if you don't listen, listen, only the church will make you feel like it's okay to do that. All right, because the church defends American society. All right, because it has to make money off of this. All right, so only America is gonna, only the church is gonna defend what you have going on there. All right, keep reading. With shamefacedness and sobriety. With what? With shame faces and sobriety. Here's how you know it's modest. Read it again. No, read what you just read. With shame facedness and sobriety. With shame facedness. All right. Shame facedness and what? And sobriety. And sobriety, because if you're drunk, you have your clothes all over coming off your body. All right. That's what happens when you're drunk. So he's trying to paint a picture with shame faces and sobriety. What it is to be modest. What's going on, brother? What's that? What's going on? But that's what modesty is according to the scriptures. All right? So that's in the scriptures, which means it's coming from the Most High. Would you be willing to cover up for the Most High God? All right? You would be. All right. Come here. Come closer. Now come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. I'm not going to do anything to you. I'm not going to do anything to you. All right? Let me see the fly. Let me see the fly. Pull that back out. All right, look on the back right here. Back side, back side, back side. Right here, you see 2937 West Park Boulevard. Tomorrow at 12 o'clock, that's gonna be filled with scissors that's gonna show you where to get dressed and where to get skirts, all right? So you can be, so you can have modest apparel. So you can wear you easily get it, or they'll make it for you, all right? Because your scissors are there to, there to do that for you, you know what I mean? So. That's the foolishness that go on when you don't keep the Sabbath. That's, a, that's the foolishness that goes on when you don't keep the Sabbath. You know what I mean? Now you have to be out here and nobody can drive and everybody gonna hit themselves. All right? But this is, the, this is listen, that's what we came out to, here to give you. All right? So we want you to know that 2937 West Brown Boulevard, the home of the truth, LOC, that's where you're gonna reach your sisters so they can get you those things. All right, because it's gonna come in the days where you're gonna wish you had you you had kept the laws in the most high God. All right, but an easy way to do it is to come be among the sisters that are doing it, so you know how to do it. Everything that you need to know, you come to the sisters. They sisters will come to the brothers. All right, all right, brother. all right, sister. How old are you, sisters? 21, 21, 21. 21. Now, what are the prime years of a woman? When you look your best. No, no, no. Basically, it is when you are in your 20s, basically from 20 to 25. Now, let me show you in that age what you should be doing. Give me the book of uh, 1 Timothy chapter 5, verse 14. Sisters, we are here because we love you. These brothers, I would tell you know what they do? They will put a seed into you and then leave you alone. Later on, you will be looking for them to put them on child support. That's what God says. 1 Timothy 5, verse 14. Because what are we here for? We are here to bring the black, so-called black family back. The Israelite family. Because we are the 12 tribes of Israel. You said that you, you guys are Benjamites, correct? Jamaica, what about you? Descendants, descendants of slaves, correct? Descendants of slaves on your father's side. So you are real Jews from the tribe of Benjamin. That's Let's right. see what God says, sister. This is for you, sisters. Because my sister, what you are showing, a man will come. Get some behind and then leave you alone. Let's see what God says. Read. The book of First Timothy to the 5, verse 14. Read. I will therefore, I will therefore that the younger woman marry. Don't become baby mamas. That younger the woman, woman marry. No, sleep a one. That younger the woman, woman marry. Be baby mama number one. That the, the younger, younger woman, woman marry. Baby mama number two. That but the, the, young woman, woman. the younger woman marry. God wants you to be married. God wants you to be married. You are married. So now, if you are married, my sister, all your goods are only for your husband. 
I'm not supposed to see them. You see my sister here? She's engaged. You know, in the Bible, she's promised to, to another man. Therefore, we are not to see her legs. My sister, this is out of love. Cover up, sisters. When you come to the school tomorrow, sisters, put a long dress on all the way to your ankles and put a head wrap on. Sisters, God is calling you. You have to understand what you are seeing here. All these men that you are seeing here, all they want is to get one night with you. And then shoot you out, kick you out. Because you can see this. How many of your of, of your of your peers are baby mamas right now? A few. Now how many of them are wives? You see? Only one. It's an a few, but only one is a wife. That is a problem. Because what, let's see what God says again. Let's see what God says. Read. The book of first Timothy, mm -hmm. chapter five, verse fourteen. Read. I will therefore that the younger woman marries the word woman. W O M E N. W O M E N. It's plural or singular. It is plural. She says that among all of her, among all of her friends, somehow you are the only one that is married. That is the problem, my sisters. Well, sisters, remember, come to the school tomorrow. Sisters, come to the school tomorrow. There will be other sisters that will show you more. All right, sisters, shalom. I pray to y'all that one day my people see them chariots Spreading the word in them streets for my people not hearing us I pray that we make it through the fire This word gon' take us